How's it going everybody? Hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, we're gonna play some more Anthem. Uh, hope hopefully we don't get any more crashes. You know, I, you know, well most of us that have been playing the game were aware. Oh, sorry, I'm getting feedback. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully we don't get any more crash crashes. I know most of us been playing. Uh, we've been experiencing it. Maybe you're lucky if you didn't. But either way, we just gotta be patient with it. Uh, they did have a live stream today. Um, which did uh, give us some ideas what we're to expect on the patch on the 12th. Uh, so I did actually post um, a lot of what they were talking about. Basically, I took notes during their live stream to kind of highlight some of their key points. I might have missed a few things, but I did post it on my Twitter and my Discord. Um, that way I could be aware of uh, what we're expecting and then share it with everyone else until we get the official patch notes on the 12th. But sounds like we're going to get a lot of good things. No, we just got to be patient with it. So yeah, just hoping, uh, hoping uh, up until then I can still stream it uh, with no problems. So yesterday was the only um, uh, bad day, I guess, or technical issue day uh, for the game for me uh, than it has been in a long time. But um, because of the previous streams, we were we were fine. But uh, hopefully, hopefully today we get some uh, some good luck with that. Cause I really love the game. Just want to keep playing it and getting all the stuff and things. All right, but I'm trying to get it set up as usual. Uh, it's not saving my tags. You know, you know the deal. You know the deal. But what I'm thinking of doing today is just kind of doing uh, random stuff. And um, I'm gonna be trying to. I know I still got to build up my ranger. Uh, but I don't know. I kind of want to play my interceptor today. So we'll see. Hey, um, Mr. Wish, going to school again? Uh, well, hopefully it's a good day for you. Hey, Dave House. All the stuff and things. Yep, yep. Yep, that's what we're doing. I'm just trying to get everything set up. Um, I am needing to get, um, I'm still trying, I'm on the hunt for a legendary unending battle, uh, which is my machine pistol. I've been saying that, uh, couple of times now Basic checks look good. and then awesome. I'm actually actually switched out for a cycle of pain as my secondary so I still have an armor max uh, buff but uh, I just like having a boss busting I always call this my boss buster but you know and I use it on basically anything high health but it just freaking wrecks so right now I feel like I feel like this is my strongest weapon so I've been trying to use it on all my characters uh, for now uh, especially since it's got the extra 200% damage Oh, and speaking of speaking of legendaries um, and uh, masterworks, uh, just one of the cool things I just remembered about some of the highlights from their stream. Uh, apparently, they're going to be upgrading the base damage of all the masterworks and legendaries to make them feel. It might just be legendaries. But don't quote me on the masterworks, but uh, they're trying to make them stronger because they feel like it's not um, where they want it to be. So masterworks, I think, are going to go up. Uh, another uh, good thing, ultimates, uh, people like building on ultimates and melee users, uh, they're going to be buffing uh, those as well. So I think what they're going to be doing is making it so our power level can be raised, um, which will affect our ultimate um, ultimate damage and our melee damage. So I'm thinking what's going to happen is like, uh, they were saying something about power level, so like masterworks will go from like 45 to 61 or something like that, something along those lines. Uh, you'd have to go back and watch their live stream, but basically, uh, I'm really excited for that because I'm a melee user, uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. You just need two more masterwork components on both your ranger and colossus. Oh, nice, nice. So you're nearly done to get your masterwork peoples too. Nice. Oh, you have three. You need three in your ranger. Gotcha. Well, um, I need to do my legendaries today as well. My legendary quests. Uh, but also, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be playing interceptor today. My main. Uh, I just feel like playing them. Uh, I might jump into some other ones later on, um, but uh, I feel like using my Gray Fox skin too, uh, Gray Fox from Metal Gear. You guys have seen me. Um, I made this, and uh, I feel like I feel like it's pretty nice. It's the closest I can get, but uh, I really like that character, and he looks so good in this. Um, so I kind of wanted to bust that out. Uh, let's see what we got in the store. Uh, we've got one day left on this. I'm waiting for one of the new armor sets. Uh, I'm either going to hang on and wait until April, or uh, I might buy the the Storm armor. Oh, 
Oh, another good change. I know I'm going to probably talk about a lot of the updates that they were talking about in the uh, the stream again, their live stream today. But you see how see how I have to manually run up to my suit every time the Star Expedition? Um, every time you're in a group, you get the ability to hold triangle and go to your suit without even... Um, you like teleport to your suit without running to it manually. Well, they're going to add that to where if you're alone, you can go to it right away. Uh, so that's really nice. Nice quality of life feature there. Uh, what else are we going to get? We're going to get uh, the ability to, to do random strongholds. Uh, so when you go to this option, you know you have quick play, so you can go just help anybody out jump in their mission. Well, you're going to have the same one with strongholds. Instead of starting it, starting it up, um, you can just jump in someone else's and just kind of just get in there kind of thing. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, they're going to be rewarding us with more... Um, they're going to be rewarding us with more uh, stuff for GM2, or basically all Grandmasters. Uh, they want to improve the rewards that we get from there because they know that you know you don't really get too much uh, more for doing Grandmaster, especially if you go 2 and 3. Um, so they're working on getting us uh, something for that. I don't know what exactly, they didn't really elaborate, but they said they do want to make it more rewarding for doing those. Uh, so I'm excited for that. I'm not sure if that's going to be a March 12th update on that part specifically, but uh, they at least addressed it during their stream. Um, what else, man? There's just so much to talk about. I'm probably going to be, like I said, jumping around all over the place as I think about it, or I could even just pull up the notes that I took during their stream and uh, go over it with you guys as well. But if, if you just want to hear it straight from their mouths, you guys could, of course, um, go watch their live stream, which I think is now, um, you, you know, either on their twitch or i think it might even be on their youtube as well i'm not positive on that or even their reddit they probably got it there but i i do know they have it posted up on uh twitter on some company you can join if you want to man I'm just kind of doing random things uh but i could send you an invite uh let's see just kind of hanging out today i don't really have an agenda um i kind of just wanted to play just by like winging it doing whatever i felt like today because i know um, the past couple of days kind of had it to where, all right, I'm going to finish up my interceptor. All right. I'm going to finish up my Colossus, my storm. So I did all those. And then yesterday we tried the Ranger. Um, but you know, with all the crashes and stuff kind of, and I was tired. I just, uh, stopped playing. I didn't really play today at all. This is my first time playing, um, my PlayStation today. Uh, so just kind of feel like relaxing today. But I definitely want to kick butt with my, my Gray Fox Interceptor. Hopefully hopefully I can get some drops today too. It would be nice. Because yesterday's RNG uh, didn't go so well. <laughs> which is fine. Which is fine. Um, hopefully we get some better RNG today. Uh, because I do want to get some more stuff to make my Interceptor. Not only a higher level. Just better in general. Alright. Uh, let's see, waiting on, uh, waiting on Dallas, and we'll get started here. That's a no biggie, random stuff equals random loot. You're down? Sure, sure. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I think I just really want to try to get some of those. E even if I get duplicates, I'm, I'm okay with that. I need to get duplicates that have great rolls, because uh, I'm really, really trying to get my melee build. Um, built up on my uh, interceptor so I need um, if I do get duplicates today if I do get good drops I'm wanting um, what is it armor and shields of course if I can get those uh, I do want to keep gear charges on my abilities so I can use them multiple times and then um, un unending battle and then I also there's an inscription or a component that I need on the interceptor which I haven't gotten which is a melee bonus or melee buff one um, I need to get that as well. Oh, no worries, man. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to jump into free play here uh, initially. I just want to see if we can go around and see some world events because uh, I still need to work on that. Uh, I need to finish up, if I do uh, plan on doing it, which I'd have to do it alone, of course, because you can't do quick plays with the group. Um, at some point, I need to finish up, I think, 12 more quick plays and for the challenge of Valor. And then I also need, I think, 50 more world events. And then that, that mission will be done. And I think there's one more 
mission for the critical path currently. But see, like, what I'm trying to do, even though I have all these things I want to do, um, sometimes I like just doing doing whatever, and it just kind of happens, you know? Uh, and it's just, it's just more relaxing that way. So I think that's, that's kind of what I want to do today. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I really, really love this game. I know I say it so many times, but it's true. You know, a lot of people want to hate on it, uh, but it's got a lot of good stuff on it. So um, somebody somebody commented on one of my tweets today, uh, which usually happens when I try to say something positive about this game or any game that's getting some flack. And then you get the people who comment on my post, so they start the conversation. But, you know, uh, you know I give my opinion and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it seems like people just expect uh, perfection um, for game launches. Or, and they just don't want to be patient with bug fixes, especially live service games, which, you know, are updated over time and content added over time. People want to say the game's unfinished. Well, it's not unfinished. Uh, they gave us the first portion of their game. It's a live service game. We're going to be getting more um, over time. So I'm not sure if people understand how live service games work. But, you know, we got good stuff on the way. And uh, Act 2 is not too... Not too far away, judging by the roadmap. At least I have it listed there. Uh, we've had 90 days worth of uh, the road. I had a roadmap for the next 90 days after launch uh, for all the stuff we're about to get, and we've already gotten some of it. So you know they're doing a good job. Um, you know I've had my own fair share of bugs, crashes, all that kind of thing. Uh, but I'm not out there complaining and hating the game and saying you know the devs suck or anything like that. They're actually working really hard. They've been very transparent, giving us a lot of updates and. Uh, the March 12th update looks really, really good. They're going to be fixing a lot of things. Uh, not only just quality of life stuff, but, you know, bug fixes in general. So it's good. I'm really excited for it. So they're doing, they're doing great. Um, we need to silence that you know, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be the uh, playing the game and back. supporting the game if I didn't like it. So sometimes people confuse it like, well, you know, you're just biased, naive, gullible. Somebody was telling me that today. It was pretty funny. Um, but just, just for supporting the game. I was like, that's not true, you know. Um, if I didn't like the game, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, say anything about it. I wouldn't play it, wouldn't support it, and I'd move on. I'd Good go to stuff. a different Good game. But, uh, but no, I actually really enjoy it. There's a lot of good. So I think it has a lot of potential. Um, I think it's going to be one of those games where uh, once, you, once it gets all the bug fixes and it becomes Making smooth progress. and we got a, a lot of the content that's on the way, people are going to really see that it's an awesome game. Um, you know, they just gotta look past the, the bandwagoning on the hate EA kind of thing, because it's, you know, EA might not have made a lot of good choices, but, um, Bioware, Bioware is the one who made it, and they deserve their credit. Nice uh, they don't need the flat. Um, uh, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of games more than just EA and Destiny, all that kind of stuff that are, uh, you know, they start with bugs and then get better over time, so. As long as people are willing to be patient, uh, we can get some good stuff. Oh, I was gonna go that dash and kill him. Well All right, so sorry guys, I kind of, kind of on like a tangent there, but you know, this, um, this is uh, Anthem That's we're talking it. about. I'm playing yeah. Anthem, and uh, we just got all the bug fix notes and stuff upcoming, so it's kind of a, kind of the topic that uh, we're gonna see anyway, you know, you know. But I'm excited though. I'm excited. So. I think honestly though I'm really looking forward to the the melee buff essentially because man like I, I feel the interceptor is strong but it definitely could use have used a little bit of a buff especially if, um, for melee players and so that's really really nice oh no you're fine you're fine Dallas. no worries man all right so let's see fragments recovered he's getting that one there we are the relic silent that's a relief all right. Let's see if we get some good drops. Nope. Nope. Not on this one. All right. So let's see. No. Oh. Oh. Speaking of, because we're doing free play right now. See, I'm I'm gonna get excited about it. Uh, they're gonna be doing a quality of life thing for uh, world events, and what they're gonna be doing is adding it, or some kind of way to make it easier to locate uh, world events. So you don't feel like you're always in your map and slowing down kind of thing. Some people just like to move 
uh, place to place and just go right to the objective. So uh, they are looking into finding a way to, uh, I don't know if they're going to just like mark it um, on your map so like you can see the spawns or how are they going to do it, but basically they address, they want you to be able to find the world events and get to it easier, quicker, you know, uh, which could be cool. Um, if anything, all I would really want them to add if they didn't do anything with that, I mean, of course they are, because they said they are, but if they didn't do anything with that, just a, um, a waypoint marker would be nice. That way you can say, all right, I'm going to go this direction, and then hopefully the world event will pop up, you know, that kind of thing. So lots of lots of good changes. Like I said, I'm going to keep repeating that same phrase, but uh, it really is uh, going to be improving here very, very soon. Um, and of course, the crashes for the game are being addressed. They said they feel like they got most of them. Maybe not all, but they're hoping that it'll solve most of the issues. Uh, I don't know why people are saying their PS4s are being bricked. Um, because they said they haven't gotten any reports of the game bricking anyone's PlayStation. You know, I mean, I can't, you can't really say because, you know, I don't, I don't feel they would hide something like that. I know some people would say, well, how do you know that they're just hiding information? I don't really know. But I don't think they're trying to screw us over. I don't think it would benefit them if they're um, letting stuff happen to people's consoles and withdrawing information. So, um, But they said they are aware of the crashes. They've been taking people's uh, information the on the agent, crashes and trying gone. to fix it up. And we should be expecting uh, some fixes on that on the 12th as well. Suit look and fly. Is that the new or clean wear state? Uh, this is the clean. Or actually, no. Sorry. This is the yeah, new wear state. The the last one you can get by getting the freelancer the faction up to tier three. Uh, this suit. This suit's based off of Gray Fox from Metal Gear. Um, he's one of my favorite characters. So um, I think I showed you guys. I made it in. Uh, I made it in the demo, the VIP demo. Um, but I uh, brought it back in uh, this as well. But. I didn't have the, the new wear state because I didn't have it in the VIP demo, at least I don't think so. Uh, but uh, it definitely looks better in the, the new state. But I love it, I love it. Um, I made some pretty cool ones. But thank you, I appreciate, appreciate the compliment. Yeah, I made uh, some pretty cool ones, so I think this one's my favorite. And then I got my Wolverine one, the classic Wolverine suit one I made, uh, which looks really, really nice. Oop. Keep the area clear. Oh, it's trying to dash to him. Didn't get to him. There we go. Half done now. Keep it up. So I've noticed a little bit of delay there. I, I got to do a couple animation, animation strikes, and then uh, kind of halting on me. I don't know if that was intended there. Oh, oh, he died. So I didn't dash to him. How do I have so much HP? Uh, so basically, if you increase your armor, uh, that's your health. Uh, so across my weapons and my gear and all that kind of thing, um, I have more HP, essentially. Now, uh, my Colossus has a ton more because, you know, the Colossus is built for a tank. So when, when you get Masterwork components, um, those are the big thing. Um, they just boost your armor and shield by default. Colossus gets about like 10,000 uh, armor just on one component. Uh, the Interceptor, I think, gets about 2 to 3k on their components. But uh, in order to increase it uh, more on the Interceptor, because they don't have that high of health pool, like I said, it's across their uh, gear components and, the, and um, the weapons with the roll armor. And then on top of that, I have Epic Sigils, which are also boosting my armor and shield. They may be trying to regroup. Alright, where is this thing here? Oh, is this it? Oh, we're gonna be going underground, maybe? Part of a report. We should find a rest for Corvus. Alright. Storm has two bars, so you get smoke, you get one hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was Before I got the upgrades to my armor, I was getting one shot a lot. Um, masterwork components help big time. But I was at two health bars on my interceptor for the longest time. Until I started picking up More some, intel. and then I, eventually I got uh, a legendary component and maybe a master arc, and I was only at like five health bars. While my buddy who was playing the Colossus was getting like 20, 30, and like now I think it has like upwards to like it almost looks like I, I feel like I counted out, but it's a little bit hard because the, the segments were so squished together. It looked like 190 That's health bars or so. I tried counting it out on my TV screen. <laughs> it's pretty funny. 
But yeah, um, yeah, just gotta work on getting your components. Oh, another thing, now that I just use my ultimate, they are going to be fixing the ultimate, um, where it shows up that you don't, you don't really, ha you have it, but you don't really have it kind of thing, uh, which I've been having that for the longest time, so that's going to be fixed up on the 12th too, so that's another thing, uh, that I'm looking forward to. Alright. Alright. And I want to keep going kind of up towards the north. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, um if you're if you're wanting to get wanting to get more health, just definitely get those masterwork components built up. And I think I was talking to you earlier about it, but uh you get guaranteed masterwork components from doing legendary contracts. Uh, which you can get three a day once you complete the side missions to get those um, and then those help out a lot but uh, that's the surefire way of getting a component you know you might still get duplicates but still a better chance um, whereas you know running dungeons and free play and that kind of stuff um, you're gonna get more so weapons and gears uh, or like your abilities or whatever it's dangerous to leave it in their hands all right Where is the... Oh, right there. Okay. Okay. Go for the sniper. No snip snap for you! Trying to hammer out those last few levels. Yeah! Yeah, for sure, man. It's definitely worth it. Is there anything you recommend for the best way to get XP? Honestly, just playing the game. Um, I mean, of course, you could probably grind uh, dungeons. Uh, just because you can keep going in, going in and out, in and out. Pirate Mine being the best one because everyone's used to it. It's the more simple of the dungeons. Or is it just easier, I guess I would say. Um, but I think playing in the group is said to get more XP too. But of course, um, if you're playing in a group um, and everyone's at least coordinated and does well, you know, you can clear things pretty good. Uh, not saying you can't do it with randoms, but you know, it's expected that you're going to get more teamwork when you're playing with uh, friends and stuff. Say it again, a surefire way to get components? Oh, uh, Nalo. <laughs> That's just, uh, you know, the, um, doing the, oops, sorry, doing the uh, legendary contracts. That's, you're guaranteed a masterwork component at the end. Remember how we were um, doing those the other day? I didn't mean to fly there. But I do believe you get more XP for the more things you kill, obviously, so, you know, um, if you can do time efficiency, like I said, uh, completing dungeons repeatedly, and your performance, you'll get good XP, but, you know, if you can do the Temple of Sars uh, stronghold, which has a lot more things to kill, um, I think a lot more elites, and you get some more XP for that, too. Plus, of course, if you get a lot of accolades during your fight, um, you get XP bonuses from those too. Contracts get the most XP. They they might, but it seems like like because of because of the, unfortunately because of the loading times, um, it might not be the most efficient because you know you'll spend you know a couple minutes loading, do contract quickly, finish it, loading screen, another loading screen to get back in. You know what I mean? So like a dungeon. Uh, you're in there for a good half hour or so, especially Grandmaster 1 once you're built up or so, 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Get your good XP, then you just get like one loading screen, get back in there, you kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, it just seems like it's better that way. You have no friends? Yeah, friends! I mean, you could always find us around here. You know what I mean? I mean, we got the. If you jump back in the Discord, uh, since you just jumped back on today. Um, you can always ask around. It seems like we have a, uh, quite a bit of active people on Anthem right now, too. Um, my Discord, too. Tire Mine GV3900. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you probably just you probably just got more XP from Tire Mine because maybe you just did overall really well. You got the XP for it. Thank you for that. Every sign All right. is critic. No! 
All right, let's see. So what I what I like to do, I don't know a set path because, like I said um, the other day, I don't really go for. I don't look up other people's stuff to to show me how to play or what to do. So what I like to do is just kind of fly around um, the outside edges of the map, hope for the world events, and then um, just pick them up as we go. It just seems easier that way. I want to try to hit the edge if I can. All right. Oh, right, oh, right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go a little bit further. Oh, Tesla is going to try to shoot me. Yep, there it was. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm not sure if it's live right now, but the uh, one of the new free play events called uh, Outlaw Outrage is supposed to be this month. Um, they were talking about it in their live stream today. Oh, I got shot. They were talking about it in their live stream today, and they're supposed to be a named outlaw, like a unique one, that supposedly gives better loot drops. Good chance for it. Um, so if it is indeed um, out here for the outlaw outrage, uh, I want to look for it. But if anything, of course, it should be live with the, the uh, March 12th patch. Um, but it, from the way they were talking about it, it sounded like it was already out here. So basically what it is, is supposed to be a bunch of outlaws are um, on the map. Uh, there's like more of them just everywhere. Uh, but a named one randomly out here somewhere. Um, I kind of want to go... Let's go up and around this way. Oh, um, I know we were talking about it yesterday. We were trying to experiment with it because, you know, Shippy um, noticed it. There's a world event. Shippy noticed it where the uh, the Rangers ultimate would be blocked by wind wall of the storm. Uh, they've also, they're aware of that and they addressed that on the stream too. They're going to be fixing it. And speaking of wind wall and the bulwark abilities um, for the Ranger uh, on the bulwark and the storm uh, wind wall. Um, they're going to be buffing those up because right now they get killed so quick so uh, they basically don't mitigate any kind of damage projectiles, you know, whatever their function is supposed to be. Uh, Bulwark being the one supposed to shield yourself in the bubble and your teammates. Wind wall being able to block projectiles. Um, they always die so quick and Grandmaster and above so they're kind of useless. Uh, so they're going to be buffing up those and they said maybe a little bit more damage absorption plus uh, quicker cooldowns so you can use it more frequently so it at least has some kind of function and utility because uh, those are those would be awesome skills if they work correctly you know um, and just uh, more effective so right now right now they're pretty much useless skills but uh, they will be fixing those up that seeker storm armor looks sick yeah it's pretty cool man um, sucks that you missed out on it the first time but I imagine it's going to be one of the next few rotations because I feel like we're getting back in the first couple rotations Gonna hope he was gonna jump in there and get me. Or try to get me. Ooh. See, look at this. Because I have a high cooldown on and multiple charges on my abilities, I can just do Tempest Strike. Tempest Strike and, uh,. Gosh, I forget the original name for it now. Uh, Spark Dash. Spark Dash. I can keep repeating it so often. Uh, they have different names, of course. Uh, I think it's Renari's Charge for Spark Dash on the Masterwork. Uh, Tempest Strike, I forget what it's called um, on its unique name. But uh, having two charges each and high cooldown. Oh, man. Especially Tempest Strike. If there's a way I can get three Tempest Strikes, which I believe there is, um, I need to get that. Basically, if you're looking to increase your charge amounts on your gear, uh, look for the 100% charges on your gear. Um, of course, you can find like a 30% or a 20%, but if you get a 100% charge on your gear roll, um, then it's going to give you a whole other charge on that ability. Because normally, both of my abilities have just one. Uh, so I could do Tempest Strike and my charge once each, but now I can do it twice. And the cool thing is with my, um, with my uh, Spark Dash, if I kill something with it, uh, it resets, and it can do that every five seconds. So I have two charges of that, so I can essentially, I would think, be able to get around four. 
Um, but by the time, you know, I'm killing another enemy with it or dashing to another enemy, um, it's, our, it's already, you know, cooldown's already gone. Uh, so I can already use it normally. See, I mean, see, I, I just used it and killed him and got it right back. <laughs> so this is on Grandmaster 1 right now. I'm just, I think I'm a little too strong for on this character for Grandmaster 1 free play. Uh, so maybe I'll buff it up to 2. The only thing that could give us some trouble would be uh, Grandmaster 2 Titans, I think, can still be a problem. Uh, fire, for some reason, wrecks interceptors like no other. Um, I get hit once, takes out takes out a lot of shield and health, and then I just burn I burn the rest of my health away until like a sliver. Um, oop! Dang it! Smacking wall. <clears throat> you wish when you did the pre-order you could just select the uh, Legion of Dawn armor, not get all of them. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess you can do the you can do the upgrade to get the Legion of Dawn armor. Um, if that's what you're talking about, to where you get it for all the suits. I think only, yeah, they only got the Ranger pre-order uh, for uh, the standard edition, right? I, I did end up getting the um, the nice one, so I got the armor sets for all of them. Um, but for my Interceptor, I honestly love the default suit. Um, I do have a couple mixed sets. Uh, I'm just playing with my Gray Fox skin, which has the, the default skin. But honestly, though, the, the default skins are pretty darn good. Um, especially the Interceptor helmet. The default helmet. Oh, can't fly. Attack. Alright, looking for an, uh, more more world events. Now, I might do the... I might start doing the contracts here soon to see if I can get the... Um components that I need. Uh, I think we're about to hit a dead end. Usually I think there's an event right here. But uh, let's see, can I wrap around here? I think I can, yeah. Oof. Yeah, here's one. Corvus reported a lost agent in this area. Starting a search for their link. Alright. What is that? Scars. You got okay. This. You prepared to stand to get the ranger? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there, that's nice, but, you know, the ranger is probably my least favorite out of the classes. I mean, he's cool and all, but the standard to me. Um, but I like, I like my unique agency. styles, my unique they classes. Are. Interceptor is my, my name, though, for sure. Oh, I see you mean, yeah. If, if you got the pre-order, you got to pick one of the sets. Yeah, that would be nice. But I think I think all sets are worth it. So, I mean, if eventually you are able to upgrade um, to the next set, then, uh, or to get all the sets, then, yeah, it's, it's, they're really nice. Oh man, I missed my interceptor. Oop. Okay. Woo! Keep moving around here. I'm just trying to keep my keep my buffs active there on the bottom. You see. All right. Oh, jeez, I got sniped. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Okay. Jeez. He just hit, he just punches me and I'd staggered. Oh, there's another thing I want to talk about too. So basically when you get uh, a heavy hit like I just got right there, uh, they're reducing the recovery time on that so you're able to get back in the action or just uh, basically not be staggered for so long. Um, and also be able to use your abilities quicker outside of it, um, which is especially helpful for the Colossus they were pointing out so you can bring up your shield 
you know, sometimes you'll get hit and you want to pull up your shield for the next incoming hit that you see from something else. Uh, you're going to be able to do that faster now. So it might not be like super uh, huge change, but it's just, just enough that you'll probably be able to feel the difference kind of thing. Uh, where is this guy? There we go. Part of a report. Corvus wanted all recovered. No, I think there is. I think there is an upgrade uh, spot. You have to check again. I felt like I. I felt like I saw it. Uh, you might want to look in the store again. Uh, all right, where is this? Right here. Yeah, there should be an upgrade option in the store. Uh, I. I really felt like I've seen it. I mean, I already had it, but I felt like I've seen it um, from there. Oh, I see, I see when you look. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe they still had to get it uh, set for the store. Who knows? You know, with PlayStation, sometimes things take longer than it's supposed to for, with certification and stuff. So probably had to wait a little bit. Whew. Get him. Skull Leader is down. Hopefully that sends a message to the rest. That's done it. The agent's sacrifice won't be in vain. Corvus sends their thanks. This was important. Be sure of it. Alright. I think let's go... I think I'm gonna do my contracts. So let's go back and get those. <clears throat> and then maybe we'll do some dungeon runs. So I'm going to take a drink of water real quick. Alright. Oh, I skipped my loot. Oh no! Dang it. I skipped the loot part and I didn't get the salvage at all. Whoops, now I'm going to be overloaded in there. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that stinks. Well, you know, it's always going to be there. So whenever you want to try to get it again, you know. But, you know, wherever else you spent it, hopefully it was still just as good or something else just as good. <laughs> All right. So I got to go through and salvage everything I just forgot. So I, I clicked circle too fast and uh, I didn't get to salvage. So um, I'm going to try to get rid of some of that stuff. I'm trying to get to the point to where I have um, nothing, basically anything epic and below is going to be gone. Um, what did I get that was new in here? Okay, these purples. Oh, nice, Dallas. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, weapons, I don't think. Uh, yeah, see, these I don't even hold anything below masterwork on this one. Okay. I wonder if they're gonna do anything too, where you can upgrade the uh, the pre-order gun to the the Light of the Legion, which is coming up here. But it always has the new notification still. I wonder if they're gonna fix that. In fact, can I craft? Uh, Elemental Rage, let's see, I can do Thunderbolt. Alright. I'm trying to get all the blueprints for all the weapons eventually too. Grabbing your phone charger? No worries man, I'm, I gotta go through all this stuff and get rid of all the things I didn't actually scrap like I meant to. How do you get rid of the items that you have, like chains and locked on them? Uh, so you have to, basically... If you see a gray chain icon right here, see the one I'm hovering over? That means it's equipped on another character. Uh, the blue means it's currently equipped on your character now. And I think yellow uh, would be the one that you currently have equipped and selected. So like this one's yellow up here with the check mark because it's already put on my character. Now in order to get rid of the uh, chain links, um, you have to actually go to whichever character has it equipped. Um, of course, this is a component, so it's only going to be an interceptor component. Uh, actually, no, this one's universal. 
So you got to go find which class you have it equipped on, uh, unequip it, and uh, then you'll be able to, to scrap it. Now it becomes easier once you get Masterworks, uh, especially since a lot of the Masterworks seem specific to the class, um, and then you don't have to worry about it so much. Um, but hopefully at some point they'll be able to, I kept mentioning it before, hopefully you can still scrap it. It'll just have you confirm it. It's like, are you sure you want to get rid of this? Uh, hopefully we'll get something like that. But yeah, that's how you get rid of the uh, the chain links. So gray means it's equipped, if somebody else has it equipped or it's equipped on one of your other loadouts on the same class. Um, just depends if it's universal or specific to the class. It's like Vermintide 2. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Um, so let's see. I don't think any of my classes on here. Uh, let's see. I don't know who of my class. Oh, I didn't mean to switch. I was just looking through. I don't know which one of my uh, classes have that actual purple one. It should be. It's probably my ranger that has it. Um. Yeah, he's wearing the armor one. So he's got the last epic that is universal, it looks like. I wonder if I can switch it to something else just so I can get rid of it. Uh, but he's got the L1 plus 28% damage on it. So that's why I like that one right now because I'm still building him. He doesn't have all the components. So I'll probably just leave it. It's not too big of a deal. We're supposed to be getting an upgrade to our storage at some point soon too. Um, I'm having a feeling it's tied to story content because they said they're working on it, but because of quote unquote reasons, uh, they can't really say much else. I feel like it's tied to something in the story that you'll have to complete. Oops. And then, um, not, of course, not what's currently in the game, upcoming. And that way we'll be able to get more room. But yeah, they want us to have more space. What do my storms look like? A showcase? Uh, it's nothing crazy, man. Nothing crazy. Uh... I'm still working on my ice one. I don't have the skills. I mean, it's kind of standard. I did like the light blue for the ice, the silvers and whites, so it looks nice. Uh, I feel like white, primary white, is usually works pretty good. This is my lightning one. Kind of the same thing, just like the different color uh, highlights in the cape. Um, and then I got my magneto, magneto storm. I don't have some of the extra armor pieces other than you see the one with uh, where it gives the collar. That one's the only p uh, piece I bought for the storm so far uh, because I'm basically saving all my coin for uh, my first two favorite classes which would be uh, my Interceptor and my Colossus. Um, so while we're waiting on Dayhouse I guess I can go through some of my other ones here. So you got my my Colossus here. Legion of Dawn armor. Every single piece is Legion of Dawn armor on there. Got my Juggernaut. He's wearing the Legion of Dawn too, but just the color scheme for the Juggernaut. Uh, and then I got uh, my Ranger. I know everyone's done Iron Man, but I did I did him as well because it's just cool to have him in here because that's pretty much what everyone thought when they first saw the game be announced, right? Uh, here's my silver and white scheme for like the default Ranger. Um, and then of course my Legion of Dawn uh, armor set. Kind of gave it the, the gunmetal green again, the dark yellow, and the white silver. And then, uh, of course, you've seen my Gray Fox from Metal Gear. Um, this one was one of my first skins I played around with. I like this color scheme a lot. It's not really based off anything, uh, but I think it re looks really clean. Um, Pork Patrol. Pork Patrol is the name of the clan I always make in every game we play with my friends. <laughs> so, <laughs> just made a, a color scheme here, teal, gray, white, and black. Um, this is based off my name, Sage, which comes from the anime Run of Warriors 97 anime that I was uh, where my name originates. Um, so this is made to look like that character, which is pretty darn close. Uh, if you go look at the character, this is pretty darn close. Um, and then my favorite version of Wolverine, which is the 80s to 90s uh, brown and yellow Wolverine. All right. Let's see. The chrome. Oh, you like the chrome color? I'm not a big fan of chrome or gold. But the, I do like the silver, like, metallic look. You know what I mean? Oh, I got you, Ghost Jams. Oh, are you ready to go now, Dallas? All right. Sorry, guys. I was just kind of doing a little 
little tour of my javelins while we're waiting here. Level 47 gear? Yep, 47 is legendary uh, power level. But uh, what I was mentioning earlier was that um, they're going to be increasing the power level on the items, I believe. That way it helps scale the ultimates and the melee damage users. You can make a Sauron Colossus. That could be cool. Oh, I, I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah, because there is an actual chrome you can get, and uh, to me, chrome and gold are just, we've they've always been kind of tacky to yes. me. Well, but I do like the like the silver, like metal, metallic look contracts. for sure, for sure. No, you're fine, though, you're fine. I didn't mean that. <laughs> All right, let me go pick up my contracts, uh, my legendary contracts real quick, because I didn't do them today. And then I'm going to try to see if I can get some of the new components that I need. But yeah, I can't wait for that quality of life feature where we're going to get to just go right to our javelin immediately. Um, see how it says on the left side, hold start to go to expedition, just because I'm in a group. Um, I know I mentioned it earlier, but now I can actually show you. So we're going to get that function while alone now. Uh, we're going to be able to just hold triangle without being in a group and go to the javelin. Which is really, really nice because, you know, as, as cool as it is to run around in Fort Tarsus, uh, sometimes you just want to get right back into the action. So, really looking forward to that. Gray Fox from Metal Gear? Absolutely. Yep. He is my favorite character. I really, really wish they would have made a, a game just for him. Um, and, of course, the only way that you could emulate being him which was uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which starred uh, Raiden, of course, but there was a skin... Uh, for Gray Fox in there. So you could kind of kind of be him in a way. Your character walks slow in Fort Tarsus. Yeah, they even added a sprint feature, which I'm doing right now, which is obviously better. But yeah, it, it's definitely going to be nice so we could just teleport straight to it. Even look at that now. I'm still running because I'm used to it. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do the legendary contract here. I'm just going to pick one. And so here's another example of how to boost your armor stats. Uh, so... I use the same three sigils, but see the gear sigil for cooldown. Obviously, I'm going to be using epics. I have so many epic scrap salvage, so um, you want to use uh, you want to use the armor sigil. It's thirty percent extra armor, um, and then you get ten percent extra physical re resistance as well. But that boosts your health a lot, especially if you're a squishy character. And then shield, and use the shield one. So I always, always use these three. I think right now uh, it's pretty much. Um, the shield and armor are basically you want to use them at all times. That's just my opinion because if you're a Grandmaster and above, you want to boost shield and armor by default. Uh, so I feel like those things are the, the top two you want to bring. Um, I personally like having my skills on um, low cooldowns so I can use them repeatedly. Uh, so that's why I bring the gear sigil. But I think at least for the Ranger, uh, for him, I don't really need the gear sigil. I usually bring... Um, Probably the ultimate one, I think, would be the best one for him. Yeah, no idea the Interceptor could get so much. Man, I didn't think so either. He started with 2, then I went to 5, then I went to 9, and then all of a sudden, like, 20 plus. So, <laughs> he's just out, nearly spit out your water when you saw that. Actually, I would have more if I was carrying my legendary, um, what's, uh, what's my shotgun? Radiant Fortress. It has 75% extra armor. I think that's the highest armor roll I have on a weapon. Um, I would I would have more of my interceptor with that weapon too, but I kind of I don't know I don't like the shotguns in this game, especially if you're not built for weapon damage they're very um, underwhelming, but if you do build into weapon damage I guess that it, it can work, um, but I I really wish I could use a shotgun build on my interceptor but I'm mainly building around melee so I kind of can't do both uh, because I'm going for gear charges and cooldowns instead. But, I don't know, maybe with the power level changes, we'll see. Maybe I can work around it from there. You're going to leave your contracts until you f I finish mine? Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, you only have one, too? Okay, so we'll be able to run four. <laughs> Saw someone with 250% damage on, on a roll. He didn't know it went that high. Oh, yeah, I have a 200% roll on my weapon right now. And then, <laughs> it's funny because uh, I have a weapon that has... 200% damage on the on the unique passive, an extra 50% um, damage on one of the rolls, and then like another roll with extra so much percent damage. So you can really get up there. I imagine there's a cap for everything, um, which I'm not sure if there's a way you can figure out exactly what the cap would be at the moment, but um, that's another good point I like to bring up. Uh, not that it's 
exactly related to this, but uh, stat-wise, um, they're supposed to be working on um, a stat page. I don't know if it's going to be in-game or out-of-game, but that way we can work on our builds more specifically so you can actually see the numbers of all your resistances and damage and all that kind of stuff, which is going to be really sweet. Um, I don't, but I, I really hope it's in-game because I'd like to see it in-game so you don't have to go to uh, an outside source like a web page or anything to go to it, which wouldn't be terrible, but it would still just be you know nicer to be all in-game. But they said they, uh, they do like that feedback and they do want to add a stats page, so... Looking forward to that, so then you can really fine tune. The roots must be around here. I know it. Oh, the guy was creating for 2700? 27,000? Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, if you really build into, you, you know, a set thing like, you know, melee or, uh, or weapon damage, you're definitely gonna get some, some high hits. Uh, but if you don't build for anything, you're gonna be all over the place. Alright, let me go get this. Oop. Oop. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't for the life of me uh, touch that glyph. Alright, uh. Is that I'll just, I'll just pick them once here. Nope. There we go. Got Titans. I got my boss buster out. Actually, I can probably alt right now. Uh, no wait, I still got the alt bug, never mind. That's gonna be fixed again, I mentioned it earlier, but they're gonna fix that. So I don't really act- I don't really have my alt right now, it's- it's messed up. Oh, we're not gonna fight the titans? Alright, well if they're not gonna fight, I'm not gonna stay and fight. Everybody left. So I- I don't know what it is, but people just don't wanna kill stuff. We'll just skip everything, especially dungeons, but we get we get loots. We get loots for killing stuff. Especially in the dungeons, I know I've mentioned it so many times, but uh, oh gosh. People like to skip the trash mobs, for example, Tyrant Mine. You, you kill all those bugs. I've gotten Masterworks and Legendaries off of that, so are my friends. But everybody runs past them all. Which is uh, really silly to me. Uh, where is that Fury? It's a legendary one too, no wonder why it hit me so hard. What Titan? There were two Titans at, uh, at the last objective point. Trying to get the bugs trying to sneak up after me right now. I'm trying to stay low so I don't get shot, but we lost two people. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. You didn't see it, you want to kill it? Ah, uh, it's alright, man. I think we're going to complete the mission, it'll be done anyway, alright? I gotta take out the shield. Oh, the Herald Heavy Pistol. It's already high, but I had 20% increase. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. That that one can be a machine, that weapon. I don't think I... I think I have the 200%, of course, default one, and I have the 50%, so mine does, like, 250 on that pistol, but... Alright, really have a whole lot of primers on her team. Alright. I didn't know we had another Fury here. I'm about to get my ultimate again. Man, you can join if you want to. We're doing, uh... We're doing uh, Grandmaster 1. So it's completely up to you. I don't, I don't mind if you want to join. It's fine with me. 
to just let them die. No, I gotta save them all, you know. All right. You need to be 30 to do G Grandmaster. I think if you do it on your own, if you're the one who starts it, but I believe you can be pulled in by me because I'm already 30, you know. I think we, we pulled in one of our friends before they were level 30 on Grandmaster. Unless it wasn't supposed to happen, but I'm almost positive that we were able to do it before. Alright. Ooh, that hurt. Okay. Yeah, we can try it out, man. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, uh, maybe you can work on getting to thirty while we're playing. Shouldn't take you too long if you're right there. But um, just let us finish up this, and I can try to pull you in. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like I felt like we brought one of you guys in for sure. Gosh, the interceptor is so awesome. There we go. Clearing perfect for a research camp is occupied. Can you take care of it? Okay. Woo! <clears throat> Could be getting destroyed constantly, maybe. Well, um, yeah, if you're, if you're not able to dodge a whole lot, most likely you'll get one shot, because that's where I was before I got my mess orb as the interceptor, but, you know, uh, when my group and I went through uh, Grandmaster 1 before we had uh, fully geared, because we were working on getting geared, but we just wanted the extra challenge. Yeah, we definitely we definitely struggled a little bit, but once we started getting our pieces, uh, everything started to get a little bit easier. So Grandmaster 1 feels like normal right now. Um, unless you do a legendary legendary mission, uh, which they can still hurt you pretty good, or strongholds. Uh, the scaling of the difficult, the same difficulty, and you know, going from a, a free play to a stronghold, there's a big difference, uh, even on the same difficulty. I know I said it a weird way, but I'm trying to make sure uh, you understand what I mean. Uh, but yeah, I think in these contracts, it's probably going to hurt just as it would uh, if we did a Grandmaster One stronghold. I'm getting hit by the Titan. See, even I'm getting hit harder now. I'm you got an angry to oh jeez. I'm trying. I'm trying to read. I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> Hold on. Let me try to read this here. Hey, Kimoku, thank you so much for being subscribed for 11 months in a row, man. Appreciate it. He said, uh, "What? What did you say? Oh Lord, you're on. Yeah, man. Yep. No more time. No more time." Well, I'm trying to pick up these people. I was trying to reach out too. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. We're both tanky enough to carry ghosts. Yeah, I think we could. I mean, I don't like carrying, but I don't think... I think he'd still be able to be helpful. So I don't know if it'd be necessary to be a carry, but we definitely going to be having to revive. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of doing whatever, man. Today, I don't really have an agenda. Dang it. I'm just going around trying to kill random mobs before we go after the titan, while also trying not to die. Let my shield recover. All right. Yeah, thank you, thank you, uh, Kimoku, for the being sub for 11 months in a row, man. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck happened? I think I went dashed through the level and that's resetting me. <laughs> Whoops, I've never seen that before. At the very least you can shield break in prime. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My my interceptor is built for all melee because that's my preference, but at the same time he's an all detonating build. Uh, so I build for that and being like a finisher, kind of like an assassin, kind of what he's meant for, you know? At least that's how I look at it, but of course, more so because I want all melee. Yeah, somebody being able to run around prime and stuff would definitely be handy. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, I think I just got a, a weird bug there. It was pretty silly. Um, basically, I did my spark dash at an enemy, went through the enemy into the level, like inside the level, like a rock, and then got 
it ported me out, which is good. So I'd rather this have happened where I get teleported out rather than being stuck inside the, the wall. <laughs> um, but looks like I'm being teleported back now. <clears throat> but sorry, sorry, Kamoki, that we're streaming right when you're about to sleep, man. But, uh, you know, it's still the normal schedule. <laughs> you know, you know. But thank you guys for uh, coming out here and hanging out with us. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Uh, just try to keep it a positive place, hanging out and enjoy the game. That's all That's all it's about. So if you guys are enjoying that, that's awesome. I uh, definitely appreciate the support, even if it is just watching. Alright, let's, uh... Let's get out my boss buster on this guy. I told you guys, fire is my worst enemy. I get hit by one fireball. Even with all this shield and armor. Uh, basically takes down everything I got. At least he's a, he's a legendary lesser Ash Titan. So the fact that he's legendary makes him a little bit more tanky. But he's lesser so uh, I'm at least able to do some good damage to him. Just gonna watch him while you try to sleep? Alright man, sounds good, I appreciate it. <laughs> now he's gonna go berserk, I think. Alright, he's dead. Just won't be able to hear me because of the PC PS4 on the same TV. No, no worries, no worries. Yeah, I think he'd be fine. Uh, Deos isn't in that party either, he's just... Uh, I, I'm in my own party right now, so... I hope I hope I get the the masterwork that I need. Please give me the masterwork component I need. <clears throat> Come on. I gotta build up my um, alliance XP this week. Usually I have it maxed out before, you know, like the first day it resets. Um, let's see. So alliance XP, um, for those that don't know, uh, you build it by uh, maxing it out. Like, see here, I'm almost at level uh, rank 10. And then it goes around on the inside too. As long as you and your friends, anybody on your friends list who's playing the game, get amount of alliance XP in there, then uh, you'll get extra coin bonus whenever it resets. Oh, nope, I've already got this one. This one's, this one's not a good one for me. That's a, um, a weapon-based interceptor component. And then it's an invite. Yeah, I, I'm just hanging out with my own party today. That's If that's what you mean, Dallas, like the party, like PSN party. Um, see, this is right here, this component, blade inscription. I need this masterwork. Oh, that's the one I'm after. Oh yeah, I'm scrapping this one. Yeah. Uh, well, ultimate speed. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna. I never. I'm never gonna plan on using a, a weapon-based interceptor at all. Should you risk playing Anthem on PS4? You've only crashed once. And it was just the game, not the console. You're just worried. Uh, I think honestly, I think it'd be fine. Uh, so you can use myself as an example. Uh, I've probably had. Uh, I looked at it today actually. I probably had the game crash maybe around 20 times or so uh, throughout my uh, time playing post-launch Anthem, even crashed during the demos. And uh, my PlayStation's still fine. Um, but they're going to be patching it on the 12th anyway. So I would think you would be okay. Uh, I mean, if I felt my PS4 was at risk, I probably wouldn't be playing it. But I think some people are just kind of... Uh, making it seem like it's worse than it is. Some people are crashing more than others. Some aren't uh, crashing a lot at all. Like one of my buddies, uh, Nalo, he's only crashed like twice. Uh, but mine's still running fine. Uh, I, I don't believe that the PS4 breaking was an actual thing. They said they have no reports on it. Um, but if it does, if it has happened, I guess no one's mentioned anything. <clears throat> But I think I think you'd be fine. And if you're if you're that worried though, um, what you can do, like I said, just wait till March 12th, where they're uh, rolling out a big update with a bunch of bunch of fixes, especially the crashes crashes, excuse me. And I believe they um, said that if anything, they've gotten most of the issues that are causing that. Uh, they just they're really trying not to say they guaranteed that all um, the issues are resolved, uh, but they're really adamant that they 
uh, fixed uh, a, a large amount of them. So, and, you know, they're just trying not to save something and somebody's going to say, well, you said you fixed everything, you know, just more people who want to hate on the game kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I think, honestly, you'd be fine. But, yeah, if you're not comfortable, just wait till the 12th. Sorry, that was kind of like a larger explanation you're probably looking for. But, uh, you know, I, I like this game a lot. Uh, I've been following them since they announced it. You know, I, you know, if I didn't like the game, I wouldn't be playing it and I wouldn't be so passionate about it. Um, you know, I would stop playing it and not really re do any more research on it and just go on to a different game. But uh, they've been doing a real good job about doing a lot of the updates and especially today's live stream, all the stuff they're talking about that's coming up. It's looking really nice, um, looking really good for, you know, just for fixes and quality of life changes. So those alone, outside of the content updates we're supposed to get, uh, it's going to be a good good future for Anthem, I think. So I uh, just got to stay positive about it and be patient with it, and uh, everything's going to be all right, I think. <clears throat> Who needs guns when you have blades? Exactly, Ghost Jams. <laughs> uh, but if you are curious to see what they talked about today, uh, they have posted on their Twitter where you can go watch their live stream. Um, I myself have uh, posted my own notes I took while I was watching their stream on my own Twitter and my Discord. Uh, they will have the patch notes, I imagine, on the uh, 12th. Um, so there's going to be a lot of good stuff to see uh, for those for that update. You really enjoyed the game, you're just worried? Oh yeah, it's understandable. So you're playing and had minimal issues as opposed to the people who have complained about multiple problems. Yeah, I think it's just too easy for people to complain and not be patient and like blow up about it. But I mean, I of course don't like my games crashing. Uh, it's not not a whole lot of fun. But uh, if it was like a super serious issue, I think I wouldn't be playing my own uh, my own console right now for this game at least. But I don't know. I've I've had so many games I've gotten, not even just Anthem, that have you know had a couple crashes here and there, but nothing really major. And then of course, as time goes, they fix it and find the issue. So. There's just so many variables you can never tell anymore, you know. But yeah, I think I think uh, I think you'd be all right. It seemed like the issues are not very widespread, but people are making them seem worse. They are absolutely, absolutely. People like to just blow it up, and they expect perfection and hold games to high standards. I don't know why, because all games have bugs um, that get worked out over time. Nothing's perfect at launch. Uh, but it's just it's just like the popular thing to hate on EA and I don't know, everybody's trying to run Anthem into the ground and it's actually a really good game. Um, so it's only gonna get better. Yeah, so as long as uh, as long as you can see past that and enjoy it, I think we're you're good. You're good. I'm ready to go, Yara. What are we doing? All right, waiting for the quest marker to spawn here. The outlaws are at it again, raiding freelancer graves for equipment. You find them, you stop them. Got it, on my way. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, see, like, it's so bad right now where it's, if you mention anything on Twitter positive about Anthem, uh, you're, get, you're gonna get blown up with negativity. That's just how people are right now. Uh, so I really appreciate, and I'm sure the devs do too, all the people who are um, being supportive about the game and understand, you know, that things can't be perfect Look, and nothing's flawless. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it myself. You know, see, I just had a bug earlier where I almost went through the wall. <laughs> I'm still playing and enjoying it, you know, it's like, sometimes it's just funny. And then, then of course, it'll be dealt with. Yeah, Mark Salt, man. Let's keep an eye out for it. Yes, keep going. All right, let's uh, let's see over here. You're doing very well. Ooh. Okay. Nearly there. Get my buff. I love it when I see all my buffs on the left side. Oh, all four of them frozen. I got one Tempest Strike kick on all of them. Blew them up. That was nice. Alright. Kick in the face. Yep. Oh. 
I gotta be careful about him. He might hurt. Alright. Alright, took care of him pretty nicely. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's dead. Alright. I love how fast stuff you have to move around in the Interceptor. Interceptor is so fun. I love being agile. And it, it's, it's so cool when you get to go from a super fast class like the Interceptor, and then I go to my second one like Colossus, who's like just hulking and slow. Just huge, massive, slow. I love that difference. I'm done. No but it's so safe. funny. Basically, my favorite thing I like to think about it, it's going to probably be a funny analogy to you guys, but Finish. it's like uh, if you're a Naruto fan, and you know Rock Lee, how he wore the weights? It's like you're, you're the Colossus, and then that's like Rock Lee with the weights on. They, he's allowed to take them off finally in the, in the um, forget what tournament, whatever it, whatever it was we're doing the trials or whatever. And then he just goes super speed everywhere. That's pretty much what it feels like to me. <laughs> uh, man, good stuff. Uh, Rock, Rock Lee is awesome though, he's my favorite Naruto character, I think. <clears throat> Send them some trouble. Let's get to work, freelancer. Alright. I understand. Okay, he's primed. Get the scout out of the way here. Oh, I missed the, the kick somehow. Okay. I thought my kick was right. Oh man, I'm messing up. Messing up. There we go. It's so funny though, you can make the uh, scrappers useless uh, because they only have secret mines that go across the ground. As soon as you go up in there, they're kind of like, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Alright. Oh, we got a masterwork. Nice. I love it when I get masterwork drops um, just on trash mobs. Nope. Like, apparently I was latched on to uh, one who hasn't spawned yet, so I was going to do damage. to get my uh, damage boosted a little bit there, my buff. Okay, got some more scrappers in here. Where's the enemy? Here is clear scars. You fought well. Be proud. All right. Yeah, okay. We'll do Victor Dance? You guys want the Victor Dance? Whee! Whee! So, we have a dangerous enemy running around in these Check that out. Alright. Understood. Let's see what I can do. I was waiting for the, the quest marker to pop up. Which way? This way. Yeah, so far we're not doing too bad. I think um, got a masterwork, and now I'll get the guaranteed one at the end. I really open. I'm really open though. I just want to get that blade inscription. Wow, what is my guy doing? <laughs> What's going on? No. <laughs> I looked like I was doing a magic harp splash. Oh man. All right, so we have, we've had two silly two silly bugs happen so far. That's hilarious. It just made it more uh, more funny to me because of the way uh, their how stiff their body looks when they're flying like this, and the fact that it was kind of look like having spasms. Oh man! Oh, glyph, I need that. Thank you. No beast. 
I'm at 21 out of 50. I really need to get on that. I haven't been able to see any, though, flying around. They're really well hidden, at least the ones left that I have for that. Search for clues. From these remains. Look over here. Does right. this give us a clue? Yeah. This way? That should give us a location. <clears throat> I don't have any water to, to cool my jets, so let's let go down here. Gotta watch Let out. Oh, it's gonna be an Earth 6? Okay. You must finish this. Oh, I might have messed that up, that throw up, because it hit the, hit the wall there. I don't know if he's gonna get a friend, but I'm gonna try to kill him with my ult. He doesn't want to acknowledge me. Come here, come here. And now I gotta watch out, because yep. He was mad. As soon as my ult ended, he's like, alright, time to smack. Could get my get this weapon out. Still going? Unbelievable. I need to shoot him in the face, but he's not turning around here. There we go, look at that. I'm gonna blow him up now. Woo! No, thank you. Time to kite him. I'll take him around the, the square. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Come on. <laughs> He's gonna be so bad. Oh god, okay, he got me there. The other one's gonna be here soon. Oh, we gotta be careful. He's already, he's in my path. Alright, he's dead. Okay. Alright. Let me just go back to my melee. Oh, oh, that hit wasn't intended for me. Alright. So the Colossus can actually knock over the Ursix. Um, I think the more force you have, the better, obviously, for that. Uh, the force stat. He doesn't like me. Yeah, I can't. Maybe I shouldn't do melee on him. As soon point. as I go in, he wants to punch me. So, see, I can st I can stay safe with my weapon do range, but it's just not fun for me. I want to do the melees. All right, there's six. Yeah, he doesn't like my next. Ooh, he doesn't like me at all. Come here. Go this way. No wait. Okay, if you're gonna try to attack someone else, I can maybe get combo kick in. <laughs> Have I been getting connection issues nonstop? Nope. Just yesterday was the first day in a long time that I actually had some crashes, but. Nope, I've, uh, I'm actually playing the game just fine today, so far. Alright. 
see what we get for our masterworks here. You love tankiness? Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. I love it when your Colossus gets so built up, you can just like, alright, I'm just going to walk up there and do whatever I want. <laughs> you can't kill me. Uh, that's good stuff. So usually there's like a victory song at the end here. I'm not sure what happened with that today. All right. Let's see if I can max out my Alliance tier. This should put me at level nine. No, actually no, it's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought. Oh, uh, what's this one? Oh, that's actually terrible, terrible rolls. I, I do use this one, but that's bad rolls right there. Uh, do I have this one? Oh, yep, it's the Masterwork version of Radiant Fortress. I have two legendaries. I got rid of one of them. Two legendary versions of that. You get kicked, kicked at every event you do? Um, what? There might be something you can do for that. Is it just today that you've been getting that? And uh, have you just kept playing in the same session? Because uh, maybe what you could do is try to reset the PlayStation and see if that works. Um, but I believe there might be another way that they mentioned to uh, try to like uh, reboot the PlayStation in another way. I can't remember what specifically what they were talking about. But if anything, if anything though, if you're having too many issues with the game now, uh, as long as you're willing to be patient, uh, March 12th, we're getting the update. They did a live stream today. We're getting an update with a bunch of fixes. Uh, so if anything, um, you could just wait for that if you if you absolutely couldn't play it at the moment, which it really sucks that you're getting that. Um, I haven't gotten anything like that uh, in my gameplay yet, um, and I've been playing quite a bit of this game. You built up your shield too, so you're able to take three hits to your shield. Oh, nice, man. Both your components had the same repeat component. Ah, oh, yeah, this thing's. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, I got some pretty bad rolls on my components. Uh, I just got and then got a duplicate shotgun. But I have the legendary version, so I didn't. I don't keep the masterwork anymore. All right. Oop, let's go ahead and go back in. Yeah, I would say if you if you just been playing straight through and been getting the events kicking you out and you haven't shut off your PlayStation um, during this session, I would see you trying to do just a just a full reset on the PlayStation, just like try to reboot it, see if it maybe clears the cache or something. I don't know. Maybe it'll maybe it'll fix it up. Could be could be just your connection to the server, like you said. Um, so maybe even just closing the app. And trying to reestablish a, a better connection. Let's see. Uh, what was I looking for? Uh, I have one more contract, and then Dallas can pick up his. Uh, let's get my components on here. Or not my components, my sigils. You grabbed yours. Hopefully, it wasn't the same one I have, because then then we won't get the fourth one. Uh, I didn't see another one on the board, so if you just got it and uh, it was while I was looking at the map, it, we might have, we might be doing the same one, which means we only get to do three. Either way, it's fine. It's not. It's not a big deal. All right. Oops. I'm trying to see if I can take a look at it again. Yeah, we might be on the same one unless it hasn't refreshed yet. All right. <clears throat> Anything exciting in the update on the 12th? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I took notes while I was watching their stream. They're going to put the patch notes probably most likely on the 12th as well. But I, I did post them in my Discord and on my Twitter. Um, 
but let me see if I there's a lot I have like 33 bullet points yeah they don't have the notes yet because I, I wrote them down myself they're most likely going to be putting them on the 12th uh, when the patch rolls out uh, but let me see if you're interested I can um, show you the tweet that I put out um, which I wrote down I put it on a sticky note I was watching the stream and just writing them as I said stuff so I might have missed a few things but honestly, a lot of cool stuff. I've been talking about a few points uh, today as they come to mind. Um, but if you go look at that tweet, that's my tweet um, from where I wrote my notes from watching the live stream today. Lots of good stuff. Uh, so you can use that if you'd like. You didn't do nearly as bad as you thought you would? Yeah, you're fine, man. I think as long as you can try to just not get hit in Grandmaster 1 while you're still building up your gear... Um, it works out pretty good for sure and of course it helps when it's not the stronghold you got your first masterwork yeah so you're going to be guaranteed masterworks on legendary um, legendary contracts so you're going to be getting um, a guaranteed masterwork component and then of course uh, you do have the chance for the uh, occasional drop from the, the trash mobs too but yeah uh, something wrong there's definitely definitely a lot of good stuff um, I just wanted you to be able to see everything that I saw. Um, so that's why I gave you the, the link to the Twitter. If you don't want to read it, you don't have to. And I can try to go over everything that I found just myself. I'll pull up my own notes and go over it. But uh, I'm sure I'll be repeating um, some of the stuff I've talked about already uh, as we play. But I'm really excited. The March 12th update looks, looks awesome. Um, not just bug fixes, but quality of life stuff. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, just even equipping one of those Masterwork components is going to boost your uh, shield and armor big time. Just one. So if you get all six, it's awesome. The only thing I think I'd be concerned about is because you're not level 30 yet getting the Masterwork, it's probably not going to be the max level Masterwork level, or component uh, level. So you might still have to go for the higher tier power levels once you hit level 30. Uh, so I imagine um, it's probably not level 45 item. That wasn't a Masterwork 35 power level, I mean. What was it? Probably like 40 or 30 something. So you'll still you're still gonna have to upgrade eventually once you're level 30. Let's see if I can cool off while I'm flying down. My yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, we don't have to fight these ones. Oh wait, maybe we do. Maybe, we'll see. I thought I was getting ready to go and start uh, slashing up those guys in there. Okay, we are going to be going in there. Yep, he was blocking me. Get out of here. Alright, let's get this guy. Hey yo! Woo! Okay. Oh, I thought there was going to be one here. Oh, I got frozen still. Where's he at? Oh, enemies! Oops. That level when they're frozen. Okay. Oh yeah, get out of here. Oh, I wasn't moving. Was, usually there's a little bit of a lunge with the Tempest Strike, so I factored for that and I didn't get it. Okay, he's gone. Oh, 
Where's my kit? There we go. I could use my ultimate, but I like to save it for the... Um, either for saving myself or uh, legendary big guys. Okay, where's... can't really see. There we go. Sometimes there's so many explosions when you're going in melee and <laughs> you can't see anything. But, oh man! Like right here, I'm gonna use it now. Why can't I pop it? There you go, there you go. So I, I like that I can kind of tank some of these guys with my ultimate too, you know. Because I get the invincibility on top of my, uh, my damage. Alright. Woo. Where is he? Oh, they're here. Spawning in. Oh, the screen went crazy. Somebody trying to hide back here. <laughs> See you later. Still spawning in here. All right. See, I'm not really getting hit, which is, I mean, like my shield might take a little bit of damage here and there. But I love being so mobile that they can't really touch you, which is exactly how an interceptor should play, I would think. I want to hide back there with a weapon. Oh, oh, that kind of went weird. Woo! We probably got to destroy the stockpile. You know what? Where is that? Why is it not marked? I think we're going to be getting uh, limited uh, units until we find it. But I don't have it, I don't have it marked right now. Hold up. Oh, he died before I could go spark dash to him. Uh, is it this? Nope. Does anyone else, uh, Ghost or Deus, are you guys seeing where the next uh, stockpile is? It's not marked with the little radar for me right now. Oh, somebody found it, I think. Maybe. Oh, it's the, it's the, uh, discharging of this, uh, point up. Where's that at? The signal boost. There. Now you can get rid of those hostiles. Oh, dang it. It smacked into the wall. <laughs> I didn't go around the, the side fast enough. He did the stockpiles while we fought. Yeah, I couldn't see the, I didn't get the radar signal to, to show that for me. So I'm, I'm glad you were able to kill it. I think I was bugged on that, that part of it. The air is clear. Alright. Oh, looks like we're not done Woo. yet. So, um, Scar swiped a bunch of shaper fragments from an ark in a shipment. Get them back. Got it. On my way. Gotta get my boosters recharged, my jets recharged. Oh, what the? <laughs> the marker changed as soon as we hooked the left. That one guy's got to turn around now. All right. We just ran into groups and froze them between stockpiles. Hey, it works for me. I was going for anything you froze. 
between you and Ghost. I absolutely love it when people prime for my, my current build. Alright, what are we getting over here? Um, something's trying to shoot me. It's a... Alright. Turret. We've got the missing fragments. And a bunch of turrets. Alright, I'll try to take these down quick. After the rest of these guys, Just trying to get sniped over here. You're gonna die. Thank you. Hope that's not what I aimed for, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I get him. Yeah, I finished him. All right, let's go get this guy over here. Oh, the spark dash didn't reach him. So sometimes, sometimes it, um, it'll still register that you're in range for a spark dash. Uh, be rid of that. Oh, you're a legendary. No wonder why two kicks aren't killing you. Oh, I over. Somebody got me overheated. Woo! Hold up. I didn't even see where I got hit that overheated me. They must have got me with a flamethrower. I didn't even notice. Oh jeez. Okay, get a kick in here. No more fragments. Oh, no. oh he died right when I was gonna go get him. Find them and get it back. Right. Go this way over here. <clears throat> I'm wondering when uh, we're going to start seeing the world events we're supposed to get this month. Although we wouldn't find it here because we're not in free play, but still curious. Oh, I wanted to go in the water! I was hoping to be a little bit deeper so we could get the, uh, the cool buff for a little bit. No sign of the spy. Typical. See if you can find any clues on where they went. I'll see what I can find. Oh, just a canister. Okay, okay. go this way. Oh, Alright. Here's something. I see a note about Dominion sightings inside the tent. Head in that direction. Maybe the spot. Wait, where is it where is it pointing me? It it's having me fly through the same Okay, it's going up now. Oh, we got lots of lots of fun stuff in there. Oh, he's dead immediately. Let's try to get the storm, I think. All right, he's down. All right, blow up the group. Oh, they got both the brutes. Alright. Hey guys! Oh, I get to try to go for the frozen ones if I can. I just got a master work, I think. Yeah, the sound's getting a little bit a little bit crazy right now. There's a lot of particle effects, I might back off a little bit so hopefully I don't crash. Hey, Lemillion, number one. Is it Lemillion one or number one? Sorry if I say it wrong. You can correct me if you like, but I appreciate the follow. Thank you. Oh, gosh. There we go. Oh, my kick didn't register. Get out of here. Get. Yeah. All right, you're dead now. Uh, 
the sound bug that I'm getting right now is supposed to be addressed as well in the March 12th update. Uh, so if you're like, oh man, that's you know, sounding pretty bad, which it is, it's not, it's not good that it's cutting out like that. Oh, I'm stuck. Um, but they're gonna be, they're gonna be fixing it up with the March 12th update. I don't get it that often though, so we've been playing without uh, that bug happening until now, so. There's the Dominion side. He's got the Shaper Fragment. And. Oh, Fury! Alright, let's get out this weapon here. Don't get hit by the orbs. Now you know how Godzilla feels walking through Japan, right? I right, got two down, but I'm gonna try to go for this uh, Fury real quick. Are that on my ult? Where's the other one? That's one dead Fury. Why won't he latch? There we go. Woo! We got the spy. Pick up that stolen fragment. That finishes things here. Okay, there we go. And I was speaking of Godzilla, I've already mentioned this before, but uh, <laughs> there's a there's a mission where you activate. Um, they sound like like big uh, sound waves, or just I don't know. It sounds like musical like sound. Like a, um, I don't know how to describe it. But basically, it sounds like the start of the Godzilla theme, or the original Godzilla theme. Um, I did tweet about it, which is it was pretty funny to me. But I love Godzilla. I wish I could go back to that mission so I could show you guys what I'm talking about. But it was, it was pretty good stuff. <laughs> Alright, see, so I should get, um, I got one Masterwork drop and then I get the guaranteed one. So hopefully it's an upgrade on one of them. Uh, do I have this one? It increases all damage dealt by 50%. Ooh. I don't know if I have this one. It's possible though. Hey, I don't have this, but I don't use this ability. At least I don't think I have it. <clears throat> All right, so let's just scrap everything else. Oh, won't let me scrap. There you go. As one thing, one thing I didn't notice them talk about. Maybe we're getting it anyway, though, because um, there might be more updates coming with the March 12th patch. But um, hopefully, they add something like a an, a select doll and a multi salvage, which be which would be amazing. <clears throat> All right, the Dale said he had another contract, so we can go ahead and do that legendary contract, and then most likely we can go ahead and uh, maybe do a couple dungeon runs here, and then we'll see what else we can get into. You got another repeat? Yeah. Yeah. But hey, maybe the rolls will be better, right? From eight deaths in the first match to this one, to this one. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. What's the highest harvest bonus you've gotten? Uh, like on a roll? I'm not sure. I don't really use harvest because I don't go around uh, collecting the materials because I have so much right now. Um, but I'm not sure. What was this? Oh yeah, so I didn't have this one master work yet, but they're not the greatest of rolls, but they're not bad rolls either. Some of them. But yeah, I, I I personally don't like this uh this ability. Tempest strikes where it's at. Hey Canadian kid unchained, how's it going? Support the Sony yo? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I love Sony. Um, oh, so I did have Vengeance Matrix. Okay, which one's the better one? This one actually has luck on it, so I didn't notice. Uh, we need... Where did it go? Did I get a... Okay, it's right here. Oh, you got bad rolls, Dallas? Oh, that stinks, man. Okay, so the one I currently have equipped is better. So I'm going to scrap, um, scrap this one. Hey, thank you, Canadian Kid Unchained, for the follow. I appreciate it. Luck caps at 90 and 191. Yeah, I don't really use the. I don't really use luck. 
I mean, I probably I probably need it with my RNG, but <laughs> I've got some good stuff regardless. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. I don't need multiple of that one. Um, see, the Talisman of Power already have the legendary version, so I could probably actually get rid of these two. And then Ultimate Speed. I wonder if I should use that one. Uh, we can get rid of this. All right. Luck helps our legendaries a lot. You have like 14? Yeah, yeah, I, I imagine so, I imagine so. I got, um, I have a couple legendaries without a whole ton of luck. Um, I got a couple legendary um, components across my characters and then I've probably gotten about four or five legendary weapons, a couple of being duplicates. Actually more than, because I've gotten uh, two of these I've gotten two of these. Um, I think I got. Yeah, I think that was all the. Yeah, I think. I, yeah, I haven't gotten a whole lot, so I'd say I probably got about nine, ten legendaries total. I imagine. Hey, the four sixteen. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, so um, we're just rolling around doing contracts right now. I'm finishing those up. I'm running around with my gray fox um, suit from Metal Gear, and then. Uh, <laughs> Probably going some uh, dungeon runs here soon. The fact that I'm Interceptor makes you happy? Awesome. Yeah, Interceptor is my favorite. Uh, as soon as, um, you know, when they announced it at E3 in 2017, um, and they finally gave us the Interceptor, you know, finally revealed them a little bit later on, I was like, that is the class for me, because they're like, they're going to have a melee class. I'm like, yes, yes, I want a melee class. They revealed the Interceptor later on, and I was like, yep, yep, that's the only one I'm going to play. Which, in fact, I have played the, the other classes, but Interceptor is my main for sure. That's my baby. But uh, I do want to do a full melee build, which is what I'm doing right now. And good news for the melee and ultimate users. We're supposedly getting a buff um, coming up soon. Hopefully, I think it is actually in the March 12th update uh, coming out, so it's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that because that's pretty much all I want to play, melee and abilities. Because uh, I'm not much of a shooter fan. Uh, so, you know, when Anthem said that they're going to have a melee class, I was super sold. Hey, Shippy, how's it going, man? Yeah, I'm glad, glad you like the Interceptor, too. Interceptor rip. You have a dirty melee build? Yeah, I'm trying to work on it. I haven't been getting the best of uh, the rolls and luck uh, with what I want. My main thing I'm trying to go for is to upgrade my uh, Masterwork Unending Battle to a legendary version of it with some good rolls, which would be really nice. And I still haven't gotten the melee inscription um, Masterwork or even even the legendary ver variant of that. So hopefully, hopefully we get some uh, nice RNG today. Uh, but my RNG is really bad; it's always been bad in all my games, but it doesn't stop me from grinding out the games. I love, I love the grind. So it's just more replay value for me if I don't get what I want right away. You know, <laughs> unending battle isn't really worth it. Well, the way I play it kind of is, uh, only because you, uh, only, only because I get the extra 110% melee damage. So that plus all the other melee damage bonuses I have. I know most people run the. Um, was it the the acid acid grenade and tempest strike and that's like the meta which i usually don't do meta anyways in any of the games i play but i feel like it's working out pretty well for me i don't know i kind of i just do i just kind of do what i want i know there's probably lightning build for acid But yeah, so it doesn't take long to get the buff, though, with Unending Battle, though. Just a couple shots. How goes it, Shippy? Uh, it's going all right. How about you? But yeah, yeah, um, the melee buff coming out is going to be awesome. Melee and ultimate. Which actually works, both of those work for Interceptor, but... I think the one who needs the the ultimate buff the most seems to be the ranger. At least, I I don't. My ranger doesn't really do that good damage with the ultimate, but I'm sure you can build into it if you get the right rolls. You read me, y'all. What's the contract? 
swag through groups as a Colossus and giggle as they tickle you. Pretty much, man. <laughs> it was fun when I got the tank on um, GM2 with him. With mine, it was fun. You're doing good, but you're tired. Well, I'm glad you're doing well. Hopefully, you can uh, get some rest soon. Then you can join us too, Shippy, if you want. We still have an open spot, so you know, I just got to random with us. But we did just start the contract mission here. But uh, yeah, so like wh when uh, whenever I play games, uh, I never follow what everyone else does. I like to m do my own thing. But especially the interceptor, I'm literally just wanting to play melee. So pretty much, I'm on all detonation build, which is not probably the most ideal. But I'm gonna make it work. And then with incoming melee buffs, I'm sure it'll be fine. Your interceptor is 690 percent max shields. It's insane. Had good rolls before they nerfed the loot drops, and they still work. Oh, nice. I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to fix it. <laughs> they might fix some of the stuff if it's not working as intended, though. But that's awesome. You still got the good rolls before uh, before they did the um, inscription changes or the, the roll changes. You're taking the night off from gaming? Yeah, I mean, I was pretty much at that point where it's um, today, but I decided to get up and, and stream. Arcanists are trying to open that door. I didn't play all games today though, except for, you know, four streams. Because usually, you know, I play a little bit beforehand. Woo! Alright. Any good drops today? Well, I'm definitely getting more drops than I was yesterday, but uh, nothing good yet. Nothing, nothing that needed, or nothing good yet. How's it going, uh, Computer Geek? How's it going? They said they're not fixing the weapons they can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I see what you mean. Well, they could, they could, if anything, um, change the caps for the stats. That's more uh, along the lines of what I was thinking. Ooh, nice zap there. Wait, they lost power. See if you can help them with the generator. Oh, I mean, I don't think it was necessary to, to announce your following, but uh, that's awesome. That's, hello. They would have to take them away? I uh, I see, I see. I mean, I, I know they would have to take the weapons away, but... You know how, you know how like, in most RPGs or anything, um, if there's a certain cap that needs to be adjusted? Uh, you could still have, let's say, like you said, your 690% shield stat. Um, I'm sure they could find a way to reduce that if the cap was, um, too high, you know what I mean? Like, you'll still have that percentage, but the cap won't allow you to actually truly have it. That's what I'm thinking. Like, you'll still be able to keep the weapon or whatever. Oh, I think about the... Oh, dang. Hard caps, soft caps, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a weird flex. Like, it's a little interesting to say, like, hey, I have I have this many people on on, on my stream. How's it going though? Like, that's just a little weird. <laughs> Not really necessary. It's kind of rude to be honest, but uh. Right now they have. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm just hoping that they just continue to keep making everything work as intended and just make it fun, because I want to make sure the game stays challenging while still being rewarding, you know what this I mean? This is not a safe place. All right. <laughs> like that's what I mean. That, that was a little silly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is why you're needed. I mean, I I'm not. I'm just here to have fun and stream. You know, like I I don't really care. Um, 
about stats and, and views and all that. Like, it, if it happens, it happens, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm just here to promote a, a cool gaming community and have fun with it, you know? And, plus, there's, you know, multiple other reasons to, why I stream um, that help me for, for things I want. I guess I, I don't want to go into, you know, the long spiel again, but uh, as you guys have heard before. But basically, I have medical issues, um, so it helps me with that. So I, I'm just here to have fun, distract myself, uh, spread positivity. So like, I, it's just weird that people come in here and say, yeah, try to brag and stuff. Like, thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> oh, dang it. Dang it. I wasn't paying attention there. My ultimate ran out. Like, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Truth, I'm chill, play some games. All right, cool, man. Glad. See, see, that's what it's all about. Just play some games, have some fun. Oh, I'm about to get blasted. <laughs> See, everybody, everybody is, oh, oh man. Yeah, it's just weird to, when people make announcements like that, but man, I used to get a lot more of people doing that, but it, it's just silly to me. It's the new thing? It, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, for one, when people come in and announce, like, how many people they have, um, views and follows and stuff. Uh, it's probably going to deter people away from your stream or your your whatever content you have because it's a rude for one, and uh, it doesn't come off very well. It just kind of makes you look like a dick. <laughs> I don't know. That's just my that's just my view on it. So uh, when people when people do that. I know if uh, being like when I go to you know being as a viewer going into other people's streams, uh, seeing people do it, I'm like, oh man. And then all you just see is people like, all right, uh, get out of here, get out of your leave, or you're rude, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't understand why people think that would work, but hey. <laughs> ah, I knew you could do it. I've got another Sometimes your car doesn't start in the cold connected. stopping by. <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. I hope your car's all right. <laughs> Eyeball, smart ass mouth stopping by. I'm getting a distress signal from a oh man, agency. yeah, that's funny, guys. I mean, I, I don't want, I'm not trying to like pick on anybody, but it honestly is, uh, it honestly is rude when people do that. And, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, anybody who does self promotion in somebody else's uh, streams or um, media outlets, it's just, uh, I don't get why they think it would. But, any, but anyways, uh, Let's get back to just hanging out, chilling. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Kill some bugs. Oh, I actually... Did you see how I kind of whipped around that column? Oh man. You crawled out of the bed for this? Yeah, man. Navigation. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Are. Are Stop them. Now that's awesome. I, it always makes me feel happy when you guys say like, um, I know you you, you you want to sleep, you got to sleep, you got to sleep. But when people say that the you know, I was about to go to bed, saw you streaming, I wanted to come in and stop by. That, that makes me feel good. So at least it means that I'm providing a good enough entertainment. Uh, while I'm outside of a, a joint, enjoy myself at the same time. But uh, it makes me happy, because that's what I'm here for. I want to just entertain, have a good time. Oh. <laughs> who, who was trying to self promote? Uh, I think he's gone now. I, actually, I think that guy came in my stream once before. Um, to be honest, but yeah, he just decided to come in here, announce his following, and then leave, say hi, and then I guess left. And anyway, so we just kind of got on a little little discussion about that. That it doesn't work, comes off more as rude. Ooh, ooh, where'd he go? I didn't mean to switch my weapon. What was that? That's the one I was trying to kill right here. Oof. Is 
Try to get the storm out of the way. All right. Gosh darn, I love this class. <clears throat> but yeah, I think um, after March 12th, March 12th being the, the biggest patch for uh, quality of life and bug fixes, it seems, for now. Um, or of course, we got that 90 day roadmap that's been post launch. April looks like it's going to be the month that has a bunch of stuff. Um, I do believe they have it up on their EA website uh, for Anthem for the roadmap. I do have my Discord too. But uh, April seems to have, I think we're getting a stronghold, new cosmetics, a bunch of free play events, and I think guilds. And then Cataclysms is in uh, the following month, I think May. And then it has Act 2 and Act 3 listed, but locked. Uh, so I'm not sure when those will be. Uh, although they did actually um, just post on their Twitter, or at least uh, the motion cap act actors posted on Twitter for Anthem. They said they're working on some new scenes for us. Uh, so I wonder how soon that's going to be. So it sounds like either it's Act 2 or maybe something special. That'd be cool. 300 plus changes for the March 12th patch. Yeah, and I only caught 30 because I think they only mentioned a good handful. So I, I wrote down about 33 myself and then gave it uh gave it to my uh, community See if you can figure out where but um yeah i imagine there's gonna be quite a bit more games on life support don't expect much well that's uh that's opinion it sounds like they're doing pretty good despite all the people hating on it for no reason but um you can bandwagon if you want but it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything yeah I think it's a it's a little uh, ignorant to make comments like that. This I mean, if you don't like the game, you don't like the game. But um, you know, it just came out. It has bugs just like any other game. Bugs are being fixed. Developers are putting out all the all the fixes and patch notes and being transparent. So we're good to go. Those of us that are patient and know that this game actually has a lot to offer, uh, we're gonna be good. Uh, but if you don't like Anthem, you can surely go watch another stream or watch play other games that aren't anthem. No, yeah. It's not as good as the game they showed at E3. Uh, well, the thing is, I watched it on, on June 2000, uh, 2017 E3 myself. And just because it doesn't look super flashy like what it was, um, doesn't mean that it's not a good game. I think a lot of people build up too much hype. A lot of people build up too much hype and expect certain things, um, even things that might not even be in the game. And then they uh, they see something, one thing they don't like, and then the game's crap. Uh, when in fact the game can still be good. So um, obviously they probably had to make some changes um, for whatever reason they had. But regardless, uh, it's living up to my expectations, actually exceeding it, and going to be as it continues. Yeah, every, every game starts off looking awesome, you know, they bring out the best thing they can show, and then usually when a game has a couple years in between its launch, something's got it, something's changed, or a lot of things change, so, uh, but, oh, gosh, darn it. You feel like it'd be neat if they could add alternative melee combos for Interceptor? Yeah, yeah, I could actually, that'd be awesome. Uh, one thing I did bring up, or would like to see, um, maybe they'll think of more ways to reward melee players, too. Uh, but yeah, new combos or even like maybe a ways the cosmetics for your weapons would be kind of cool. Woo! You know, I probably shouldn't have been fighting a Ursix melee range. I was just I got caught up in that conversation, so my bad. <laughs> like each melee has a certain percent. Oh, that could be cool. Yeah, so like each each different type of swing you do would be like a a, a different strength. That's, I see what you mean. So yeah, so what we could do maybe if you decide to do like a melee build instead of just having triangle be melee, you could do like combos with like a, a triangle and I don't know uh, what, any other button you can uh, map it to for another melee ability. That'd be sweet. Or the combo does more damage. Oh yeah, and then like a couple of successive melee strikes, you get like a bonus if you get like five hit streak. That could be cool. 
Interceptors are squishy. Uh, they are, they are if you um, don't play them optimally or have a build for them. So obviously I was uh, played a little bit, excuse me, a little bit silly there for a second. Um, but interceptors are supposed to be very uh, dodgy in and out. But um, basically they're a glass cannon, so it works. But you see how much health I have now? And um, you start off with two health bars. You start off with two health bars on the interceptor, and you can build it up. I think the worst thing for interceptors, like I was mentioning earlier, seems to be the fireball. <laughs> One hit the fireball, you're basically about dead. The longer the combo, the better the Hadouken. There you go. Bio owners have played every video game ever made between four of them. They're all doctors. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. See, a lot of people get too wrapped up in the gaming politics no matter what, you know, and some people don't even uh, do the research on um, a game. Like, they'll see a trailer and they don't do additional research on a game uh, to see if it's truly going to be what they want it to be. But, I mean, if you see a game trailer and that's where you stop, you might end up disappointed because if you don't watch all the videos and all the, all the notes and uh, anything the developers say on the path up to the launch of the game, you might not see stuff that they changed or why they had to change something. Uh, but even then, as a gamer, uh, politics shouldn't really matter. Like the behind the scenes, like for instance, um, like everybody bashes on games just because EA published it. Well, what about Bioware? Uh, why did they deserve the flack? Uh, they developed it, but EA is basically backing them with the money. EA has made some bad choices, of course, and stuff I don't agree with, but um, to me, that doesn't really matter because as long as I can play a game that uh, the developers under them made and I enjoy it, I'm going to play it. And that's all that matters as a gamer. Who cares what happens behind the scenes? If you don't want to support EA, then don't support EA. But that doesn't mean that uh, those of us that still want to play the games that are made, um, you know, that's not going to stop us. So, um, Or what was the other one um, that we experienced uh, when I was streaming? Metal Gear Survive, a spin-off game. You know, it stinks what happened with Kojima, but he seems better now. And I bring this one up a lot because I, I have respect for Hideo Kojima. But, you know, um, he got to go do his own project now, so he's happy. But it doesn't change the fact that Metal Gear Survive was a pretty fun game. And I enjoyed it. And again, it's just a spin-off, so the people who don't like spin-offs can just play the main series and be okay. Like, that's just kind of like another example. But uh, uh, people just decide to, like, bandwagon and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. But yeah, I uh, I expect, and most gamers should, I expect most games to have bugs at launch. No game's going to be perfect at launch. Uh, in fact, a lot of games start off pretty rocky, um, especially live service ones, because there's too many variables. Technology is evolving and advancing, and you know, never know what's going to pop up um, and cause an issue. So um, people forget about that, and then they act like uh, they know what it takes to, to fix games. So like, well... Why aren't they fixing the patch right away if they're aware of it? Well, I'm sure they're working on it. They don't want their uh, consumers to be um, having a, these games with all these issues and uh, prom trying to promote their game when it's when it's um, got all this stuff wrong with it. And you know, it wouldn't benefit them to to leave a game with all the bugs, right? So obviously they're working on it. It's just got to take some time. But people like instant gratification, I guess. And, uh, there's just no patience nowadays. So uh, I think people just need to. Uh, be a little bit more positive and be a little bit more understanding because there's not enough of that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I I just there's too much negativity uh, regardless um, anywhere you go, and uh, people are just quick to get mad. It's easy to get mad about stuff. You know, even even with all the bugs that are going on right now, I've experienced a lot of bugs with Anthem, and but I still like it. But the thing is. If I really didn't enjoy Anthem, just the, the game as a whole, like outside of the bugs, then I wouldn't be playing it. It's as simple as that. But then it doesn't mean that I'm going to go to streams of Anthem and posts of Anthem just to complain about it, because what does that do? You know, and then you got all the journalists who just like promote the negativity or the YouTubers who just build off the drama because it gets some clicks and views, that kind of stuff, rather than, um, you know, saying what good the game has, you know?
<laughs> Some people looking for a reason to spread hate. Yeah, yeah, I think, I don't know, people just live in drama, you know? They just want to, it's easier to complain, and I guess it must feel good for them to complain. I don't know, they just want to be heard or something, but, man. So let's all just enjoy my stream and ignore the haters. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's pretty much... Pretty much what I'm trying to do. Like, I, I can't even make a post on Twitter about Anthem right now without somebody, at least, you know, a couple people uh, saying something bad. And then they get mad at me for responding to their uh, conversation they initiated with me. Uh, like, I can, they can give their opinion, but you give yours back and they're offended. Like, gosh darn, chill. <laughs> I'm, not tell, I'm not trying to convince you to like Anthem, but um, if you're on the negative side and uh, I'm on the positive side, we should be allowed to talk about it. You know? <laughs> You love drama on your TV, not your phone. There you go. You honestly love Anthem? Yeah. It honestly, it's really good. It really is. Like, I, I don't care that it doesn't look as pretty as it did in E3. It still looks it still looks gorgeous to me. Plus, the, the, the facial animations. My god, they're so good. There's some real high quality stuff in this game. You can really tell that they're trying to, you know, use all this new technology they got. Uh, pushing the limits of the, of the pro. Uh, which could be part of the part of the issue with some of the bugs. Maybe they'll have to fix that up. But <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm loving every minute of Anthem. So, oh, you want a cookie for uh, Kamoku? Don't have any. <clears throat> All right. Oh, uh, what? what? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's this way, guys. It's this guy. Oh yeah, the Beyblade. I know. I need to go back and play God Eater. Um, there's supposed to be a Deus found uh, post that I read into. They're going to be adding some more missions on God Eater, so I'm looking forward to that. Hey, White Squall 13, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Did someone say a cookie? You'll do it, Shippy. All right. Make sure it's the uh, make sure it's not like the the chocolate chip cookies if we're doing chocolate chip. Do it where it's like a little bit chewy. Alright. Oh, no, get me up there. Woo. Alright, here we go. You don't like chocolate chip? Chocolate chip is probably one of my favorites. But if I had to do my absolute favorite cookie, it would probably be peanut butter cookies, man. So good. Alright. Woo! Oatmeal raisin. I'm not a big I'm not a big raisin fan, but I actually don't mind raisin cookies. Or oatmeal cookies. Oh jeez. The funny thing is though, like I don't like real grapes at all. Um but I like artificial grape flavoring. I know it's weird. Uh, kind of the same thing for banana. Um, I like bananas every now and then, but I prefer artificial banana flavored stuff than the real thing. Although, give me some banana pudding, though. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Someone, have you had any of the issues with the crashes? You worried about the game? Yeah. So I, I've actually had quite a, quite a few crashes. So um, yesterday I had three on stream. Uh, but the thing is, uh, they're going to be fixing it March 12th with uh, the big update. And um, I'm, I'm actually doing pretty well today. Uh, but they said, they I don't know who brought up the bricking of the PS4s because I don't think that's actually happening. And at least Bioware has stated that, um, at least developers of Anthem have stated that they haven't got any reports of actual bricking. I think that's what I heard them say. Um, whether that's true or not, you know, none of us will know, but I don't think they would say that uh, because obviously they don't want to destroy people's PS4s. It doesn't help them uh, uh, make a game that's going to gonna be bought by the consumer, right? So it's no benefit to them. Uh, but uh, crashes are definitely present. I'm definitely getting them. Um, I have not been prone to those or uh, not been able to avoid those. But today has been a good day. I haven't crashed a single time yet. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, I think you'll still be safe to play, to be honest. Uh, but if you're honestly worried about the crashes and worried about your PS4, which you should be, it's your console. I mean, if, if you if you want to be, uh, 
You can always wait till the 12th when they patch it up. Oops, I didn't mean to dash out of that. <laughs> Don't they, huh? You really like black licorice? Oh, no, no, yeah, I don't like black licorice at all. Oh, man. Sorry if I look kind of derpy on trying to run out, run around. I want to make sure I read all you guys' messages as I'm uh, trying to kill... Oh, what? What? My kick didn't... What? Why is my kick? <laughs> my kick was super delayed. Did you see that? I pressed it a few times. Get on down here, sir. I'm going to debuff you. Here we go. Alright. You know what I missed though? I know I mentioned it a few times. The uh, Interceptor used to have a lot of stagger potential in the demos, which they took out. Uh, so I think if I want to get it back, I'm going to have to build, I think, force, the force stat. Uh, so I, which I really haven't been getting any rolls for that anyway, but it's good to know you're fine with crashes, just worry about losing everything. Yeah, man, uh, to be honest, I've probably gotten... Uh, I played the game a lot, so don't, don't take it like uh, I've gotten it like in a few sessions, but I've probably crashed on Anthem probably nearly about 20 or so times uh, since launch. But again, I play I play a lot. I have a lot of time. Um, and I'm still running fine. But you know, I, I know they're going to be working on it. Uh, there's still mul uh, many sessions where I don't get uh, as many crashes and I can still enjoy the game, so... It's still only open just the Fortune. You haven't got to play much? Yeah, see? So you, you wouldn't have nearly as much as me, if that makes sense. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad you're not getting a whole lot. Alright, did I miss anybody's messages here? Um, oh, I think we're good. Alright, cool. I, I like to actually read everybody's message um, the best I can. Sorry, words are hard, I guess, for me. Messages. Um, so, usually I'll, I'd rather sacrifice gameplay to acknowledge you guys. Uh, I feel that's a little bit more important instead of just being, you know, like a streamer who doesn't pay attention to anybody who's saying anything. So I'm here to, to help build a, a, a positive community, not just do my own thing. You haven't had a single crash, but then again, you haven't played too much. Yeah, so that's that's good. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Yeah. Um, if you if you were worried, anybody who's worried, you can just wait till March 12th, the big update we're getting. They got a lot of good stuff on the way for bug fixes and quality of life changes. And I've only managed to, to write down about 30 or so from the stream myself, so. Hey Knight, how's it going man? Alright. Woo! 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 I'm getting all the targets, I'm going okay, it's all time. <laughs> I had like four lasers going after me right there. Oh, they got the other turret up there. Alright. Oh gosh darn, the Interceptor is so awesome! I love it. I love that I can just zip across the battlefield. I seriously need to do what I was talking about the other day. You know how I got the Wolverine skin I made? Uh, I gotta do the the nightcrawler because it feels like I'm teleporting around with my spark dash. You doing good? Glad to hear it. You're just playing some anthem anthem as well. Gosh, I don't know what it is, but my words are very bad today. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right. We saw a bunch of the changes. Didn't know they were working on the crashes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, they are. So the game is safe to play. That made you feel better about it. Yeah, for sure, man. There would be no reason for them to hide anything like that uh, from the player, you know. It wouldn't benefit them uh, to have them, people, buy a game and just busting up on them. So they're fixing it. Um, they're aware that the crashes are going on. Definitely still safe to play. I'm still on my PlayStation. I'm good to go. And I've had plenty of crashes myself, so 
Yeah, you'll be all right. And of course, March 12th, it's gonna be so good. Oh. Woo! Getting a little hectic in here. Ding ding! I love it. Try not to get sniped. Yep, I just got hit. Yep, and got staggered. Okay. Jerk! Alright. I was doing pretty good without uh, getting touched in that whole the whole mess. And... Alright. There's a couple more remaining here. Oh! didn't do the lunge. Come back down here. <clears throat> Alright, just gotta get the echoes now. Nope. Is he picking it up? I guess he, he wants to get them. I'm not gonna let him get them. <laughs> He was very adamant about picking those echoes up. I was able to open the gate and he was in there. Relic silenced. Think we're <clears throat> what was that? It came from below. Of course it did. Alright. Hopefully the random doesn't tether us and we can kill the ads for loot. I know we say it every time, but I'm just hoping. Already done. Alright. <clears throat> That'd be so awesome if I can get at least one legendary today. And if I can get the one I want, that'd be great. It's asking a lot, <laughs> but but I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. So we'll see. All right, bugs, time to die. Okay. He's actually killing him with us. He's my best friend. You get stuff for killing the scorpions? Absolutely. Anything has a chance to drop loot. Um, but, but especially the bugs. I've had a lot of luck getting masterworks. Um, you know, granted, granted, let's just say um, my luck, my RNG is pretty bad as it is. But I've actually gotten quite a few, uh, quite a few masterworks off of trash mobs, and um, I've actually gotten one legendary off of a trash mob too. Yeah, so more masterworks, more than legendary, obviously. But uh, a lot of my friends that we run this often, you know, put it on farm mode. Uh, they get loot off of it too. So. Uh, it's definitely worth killing everything, wow. uh, especially so if you're Grandmaster and up, if you're still hunting for, for loot. Right. Don't worry, sir. I will let them get you. No one there to warm up the loot? <laughs> yeah, Shippy likes to uh, incinerate the treasure boxes. Feels like it gives them a better chance. But yeah, I, I highly recommend if you play in a group and if you can somehow get the random to do it, kill, kill all the mobs. Um, at least up until this point, you know. Um, they do drop stuff outside here as well, but the scorpions, for some reason, in those tunnels seem to have a better chance. At least that's where I've got most of mine. Um, yeah, yeah. Kill everything. It doesn't take that long to kill everything as well, so it's just really quick. It takes a couple extra seconds, you know? Uh, let's go get the other piece. You only at 108, so good to know? Yeah, absolutely. And of course, the higher difficulty, you have higher chances for the better loot. So I think it's of course an increased chance um, that you want to try for when you're when you're doing a grandmaster and up. So right now we're in grandmaster one, um, which is which is pretty much feels like a normal mode to me. But the thing is, we got one of our friends we're playing with now who's not um, geared out like us. So I don't want to take him in GM two. Uh, even my characters though, the the difference of difficulty from GM one to two if you're not built is crazy. Uh, I took my Colossus, who was just recently got up to Masterworks in the GM2, uh, my second time in there with an the actual group and not randoms. And we did really well, but I was still getting hit pretty hard. 
Uh, but I didn't have an optimal build or anything, but we did clear it. Now I imagine if uh, you get built up in the right roles that you need, then it probably would have went smoother and, and faster, but... I'm not so much like, I don't need it to go fast, I'm pretty much there for the experience. It was really fun, it felt like an actual dungeon, you know. I was just running around trying to crowd control everything, it was so fun. Um, that's pretty much uh, my Colossus, I built like a priming, priming machine, just walk around, freeze everything, and uh, let everybody else detonate and combo off of me. Uh, while I do my melee hits. You can barely handle hard. Hey, you'll get there, man. You gotta build it up. That's what I love about games like this. The, the grindier it is, the better. And it just gets more fun as you get uh, better equipment, you know? Oh, where do you have it? Wait. Do I have one on my hip? Oh, I can. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah, guys, if you guys are looking for a, a chill community, a positive community, you know, I don't like stress, drama, any of that kind of stuff. That's what I'm trying to promote. Uh, and just have a place for you guys to hang out and chill and, you know, bring back what games are meant for is fun. Actual fun. Um, and I do have a Discord if you guys are looking for other players to link up with on multiple platforms. Uh, so uh, feel free to use my Discord link if you'd like. We got a couple, uh, quite a few people actually active in the Discord. Um, for Anthem specifically is what I mean. Um, a lot of us are loving it. Uh, so if you want other Anthem, Anthem players that actually enjoy it or are positive about it, uh, feel free to use that if you like. Now, I'm still growing, um, but you know if we bring more people in that just want to be positive and hang out with other cool people, uh, feel free to use it. Why am I not in my mech suit from last time? Oh, you're talking about my Colossus? <laughs> I'm playing my main class, man. I'm playing Gray Fox, my Gray Fox that I made. Oops. I somehow went over his head. You see, uh, I, made, I mailed, uh, excuse me, oh my gosh, what is it? I made my Interceptor built off of Gray Fox and Metal Gear, so you can kind of see the, the colors. I love Gray Fox. You love an anthem and the big parts because of me? Well, I appreciate that, man. If I can influence players to see, uh, and show them that a game's actually fun and enjoyable. Uh, that's awesome. I'm sorry if I say this wrong. Is it uh, Cobalt? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I'm not sure if the D is meant to be silent or not. I really do apologize. You can correct me if you like. Uh, do we have anybody on the orbs? Because if not, I'll do it. I'll take I'll take over Ghost if you're listening. Because uh, I know you're still working on the gear. Maybe you can just help prime this stuff in front. Plus, then I can look at chat a little bit easier here. Oh, I thought he was... I always do that. Sometimes the store pops up there so you got the little orb around him. Sometimes you get so caught up in just shooting anything that appears. Just like a quick snap to the electric ball and then you try to shoot the storm. It's funny. Oh, I said it perfect. Awesome, awesome. But thank you guys for the support, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me that you guys are even just hanging out here, chilling. Um, that's enough support that I need, so... Uh, as long as you guys are enjoying it, it's cool. Just having some fun here. You having fun with it despite all the hate? Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad uh, there's still a large amount of people that can do that, you know? If people are just quick to, to bash on something, even though it has potential, and they just expect perfection like we were talking about before, so... Yeah, it's definitely not perfect, but, you know, they're going to work at becoming better over time. And they've been doing hot fixes, and they got upcoming patches, content updates. And they've been very, very transparent. Bioware has been actually really, really active on Twitter, which is um, at least social media in general. And it's been really awesome because you don't really see that a lot these days. They release, a lot of developers will release the game, and then they won't really talk to you much. But at least this way you can tell that they're uh, providing feedback and telling us exactly what's going on, what to expect. Uh, why is that? Oh. Helen wasn't dying for some reason. Alright, so we were just talking about that. It is kind of a rude thing when you come in and try to self-promote someone else's stream. It usually deters people. So, uh, in my opinion, I'd recommend staying away from doing that. Uh, it just comes off as rude, and then usually people don't want to check you out if you do stuff like that. Alright. There are enemy storms, not the worst instinct to have. Exactly. <laughs> yep. 
like, I don't, if you're friendly, I'm sorry, but, you know, storms are actually really, they, they suck. <laughs> the enemy storms. Man, because uh, especially on the higher difficulties, they blow me up as my interceptor. That's what I'm, that's what I mean. Have any of you played Bioware's Dragon Age games? You absolutely love them? Yeah, that's actually one of my favorite franchises that uh, Bioware has is uh, Dragon Age. Really looking forward to the next one. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like Inquisition um, for whatever reasons they had, which is fine. Everybody has their own reasons. But uh, I personally like the multiplayer of Inquisition. It's probably my favorite part. But uh, hopefully the next one has a, a multiplayer component too. And if I remember right, I've always mentioned this, I believe Inquisition was supposed to just be multiplayer only and then they added the campaign after, which is kind of cool. Um, but it feels like they put more effort into the, the solo story, which makes more sense uh, anyway, because you'd expect more content, more dialogue and all, like more effort put into that. They're going to do a whole narrative and build world building and all that stuff, but even still, the multiplayer is still pretty cool. And I really like that they've taken um, kind of the primer detonating type stuff that they have from their Bioware games and put into this. It's such a cool aspect because it promotes more teamwork, and it's so awesome that they do that. They shocked it, so they got all the purples. <laughs> Oop, I didn't mean to. I missed the kick there. GM1 is too easy. Yeah, if you get built up, if you get built up, it, it definitely becomes um, like you're playing on normal. Uh, that's what I was mentioning before. We're just doing GM1. Um, because I think uh, Ghost Cell with us is still, I think he's still trying to hit level 30 and he doesn't have the gear. And then on top of that, we, uh, none of us are built optimally either. I definitely could use some more farming and some better rolls on my gear to make GM2 a little bit, um, more viable. Or doable, I should say, would be the correct word. Let's put it there. Um, but my Colossus, you know, my Colossus can do GM2. Uh, because he's tanky, obviously. Uh, we beat it, uh, last... Was it... When did we do GM2? Was it Monday? I think we did GM2 Monday. Uh, this week. So that was my second time through, uh, with a group I was mentioning, and, uh, the first time was with the randoms. Uh, that was funny, when I played with the randoms, we cleared the first part, and then they all quit. And then, uh, when I ran it with my friends, we had pretty much no troubles, but I would like to go through my interceptor to kind of see where I stand, too. <clears throat> you only play interceptor? Yeah, I mean, that's what I said I was going to do, but once I masterworked my interceptor, I decided that I kind of just want to level up everything else, at least to masterwork, uh, which I've done, um, but I do enjoy the Colossus. Um, because I like tanking in RPGs too. Um, the storm's pretty cool too. Rangers, Rangers, not the, that fun to me, just because it's too standard. But no offense to anybody who likes Rangers, they're cool too. I like having them on my team regardless. But um, interceptor is definitely going to be my main focus still. I just prefer all melee. You're so close to Legendary Interceptor? Nice, man. Yeah, you said you were doing your luck build. He's still chasing me! I actually, I, judging by from what you're saying, and with how bad my RNG normally is, I probably need to try to get some uh, luck-based gear. <clears throat> Alright. See if I can still hit it. Okay, he's going up on the wall. I'm gonna wait. Woo! The plus the combo sound is great. It is! I love it too. I'm a very sound oriented person, and I love a lot of the sound effects in this game for sure. You run 205% luck on your GM1. Anything above 191 is garbage. Yeah, I I mean, I have 33%. So, I mean, I guess I gotta start working on it. But I just gotta get the, the rolls to happen on my loot. Woo, here she is. She's 
He's gonna try to shoot me down as he's waiting for it. Pop! <laughs> oh, I thought she was still grounded. No! Oh. Yeah, some people were, some of my friends were testing it. They're like, I got this much uh, percentage of luck and yeah, like like you said, um, it didn't seem to do anything with about, uh, I think they had like 70% and stuff or lower. Okay. Trying to get some ammo. You guys see I got like the web the web bug, or well, it was on me. Where you walk around and look well actually who has it now? I think it's the the random. It looks like he has like web effects around his body, you see it? Oh, pop! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Get the other one. Waiting for it. It's gonna happen. Come on, get it, get it. Ah, oh, she's gone. She'll be dead the next phase now. Oh, somebody popped it too early. No. I love it when you can uh, rotate, uh, popping all of the bubbles. I call them bubbles. Popping all of them, and then she basically can't get out. Uh, I've had one run with my other group where we killed her on the first run of GM1. It felt so awesome. If you shoot the back, it does more damage. Yeah. Yeah, especially after you pop it, for sure. I was just trying to rotate the damage so I could get the, weaken the, uh, the push tools. Oh, and crash.